Hi, in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can import timesheets into QuickBooks Online using Z-Axis. A timesheet is a record of time spent worked by an employee or a vendor in QuickBooks. And what I'm going to show you in this demonstration is how we can get those which may be in text, Excel or IIF format uploaded or imported into QuickBooks Online. So to start off, we'll open Z-Axis on our desktop and connect to our QuickBooks Online company file. So we paste in the tokens and then click Save. Next, we click on the Import tab and browse to the file that contains the timesheets that we want to upload into QuickBooks Online. Now, in this example, I've created some time sheets and that are in a text tab delimited file, but Z-Axis supports Excel. It also supports IIF files and CSV files as well. So first off, Axis will open the timesheets and will display them in this grid here. And what you'll notice is the first row contains a header row with a description of what's in each column. Then underneath that are repeating rows of time entry data that we're gonna upload into QuickBooks Online. So we're gonna create a new mapping and we select the transaction type as timesheet. And then we select the tan transactions type as time activity. And here we go through a process of matching the fields that are available on a timesheet in QuickBooks Online to the corresponding columns in our import file. So we know that date is gonna go against date. The employee or vendor name go here. And whether that is what type of name that is. So we know we're importing employees here. And we go through and map all the mandatory yellow fields and any other additional fields that we need to display on the timesheet in QuickBooks Online. So once we've mapped all the fields that we're going to need on the timesheet, we'll give the mapping a name and we can save that so we can reuse that on subsequent imports into QuickBooks Online. What you'll notice now is the grid has changed. So we can, so what you'll see are only the fields that we've mapped will be displayed. And we can review the information that we're going to import into QuickBooks Online before we do that. You also have the option to modify existing timesheets um, or skip them if they already exist in QuickBooks. Now that requires you to map the transaction ID field, but we haven't done that here. So we'll just go ahead and import these timesheets. So when you're ready to import, click the import button. Axis will validate the data to make sure it's in the correct format and then begin importing that directly into QuickBooks. And if we wanna see what's involved in the detail on those time activities, we click the view link here and it'll open up QuickBooks and the exact time entry that we've just imported. And we can review that and um, edit it if we need to. We also have the option to undo each of these time imports, as well as undo the entire import if we need to. So very simply, that's how you can use Z-Axis to upload or import time activities or time sheets into QuickBooks Online using Z-Axis.